Hey, what is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I am super happy with today's video. I think it is an extremely helpful tip that is going to be absolutely game changing for many different players. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave your comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video and enjoy. Hey, what is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I have a super helpful backhand tip that I feel like has completely revolutionized my ability to control my angle of release. So make it easier to throw hyzers, make it easier to throw flat, and make it easier to throw anhyzers. Now, not only does it do that, but it also helps prevent me from grip locking, over rotating, or releasing the disc over to the right. So pretty much all of us have done this at some point. You line up your shot, you're looking this way, but then you wind up wanting to sort of look at your shot and you wind up releasing, you know, just a few feet over to the right, and that can drastically affect your shot. It also makes it less powerful, and it also makes you less consistent. So today I'm gonna to give you guys a quick tip that's gonna help you mentally know where to put your head and where to put your eyes. And when I started thinking about my backhands like this, I saw almost an instantaneous improvement. So what we're going to be doing today is actually making sure that our eyes are looking where we want the disc before we pull through. And this sounds like it's an intuitive thing, but for me it wasn't. And I'm assuming for a lot of you guys, it probably also isn't. I've kind of figured this out as I continue to practice throwing my disc up in the air on Anheuser, working on some of the shots that I'm bad at. This was one cognitive change that I made, the way I actually think about the shot, that made me see instantaneous improvements. So what I'm doing with my head and what I'm doing with my eyes is going to dictate where the shot goes. So what we're going to do when we wanna throw an Anheuser shot, I'm walking up, I'm reaching back business as usual, but now as I come through, I want the disc, if I'm throwing on Anheuser with height, to be up here, so I'm putting my eyes up here. So that's going to force my body up, force my chest up, and I can see that I'm throwing the disc on the angle that I want. Now what this is also doing, and this is where this is really smart for me, this 100% prevents me from wanting to look in front of me and look where my disc is kind of going before I've released it, and it prevents me from over-rotating the shot. So I'll just kind of show you what that looks like for me on an Anheuser line. And ever since I started just putting my eyes a little bit ahead of time where I want my disc to go, I'm finding it so much easier to have a lot more command of the angle of the disc immediately out of my hand. On hyzer shots, it works really well as well. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna reach back, but now my eyes are down here and that's gonna kind of put my chest down and put me in that hyzer position. And what I love about this maneuver in particular, again, is it's forcing me to look where my disc should be instead of where I want my disc to go. And that's gonna help kind of automatically correct some of the mistakes that a lot of people make with their backhand shots. So now we'll use the same thing on a hyzer. And boom, no problem. Hyzers are mostly pretty much a no problem for most players anyway. So where I find this really handy is on the flat shots and on the Anheuser shots. So now we'll use the same technique and we will throw a flat shot. So now I'm just putting my eyes right here, right where I want the disc to be flat. I'm not looking up in the air because that's gonna put me on Anheuser. I'm not looking down, that's gonna put me on Hyzer. And I just love how it prevents me from like grip locking the disc and just immediately sending it off to the right. Ever since I started thinking about each and every shot, like using my eyes to dictate where the disc is gonna come out and the angle that it's gonna come out, I've not sent the disc over to the right really at all. So now we'll go with the flat one. And I also wanna show you guys sort of what it looks like from the front. I actually haven't seen what it looks like from the front for myself yet. So this is gonna be useful for me as well, but we'll start off on this Anheuser line. Again, just focusing as I'm pulling through the shop, putting my eyes where I want the disc to be, and then just letting all the mechanics sort of take over naturally.
and you can't see it, but that was a perfectly thrown Anheuser Flex. And now we'll look at the Heiser line and then we'll throw a flat one. And now we'll look at one quick flat shot here. But anyway, guys, I think this is something that's going to absolutely revolutionize my own angle control. It's also helping me so much with the release point because it's when I do it right, again, it's a new concept for me, so it's not gonna be absolutely perfected. I'm sure there were some errors in the throws that I did today, um, but overall, the feeling of confidence that I have in my release points when I do it right is so much higher. And one of the things that made me really think about this is I grew up playing baseball. I grew up swinging the bat a lot and I always had my eye on the ball when I hit the ball. The biggest difference between disc golf and baseball is we're looking at an object that's coming towards us and that frame where we hit the ball, our eyes should be absolutely locked in on the ball Every good hitter is looking at the ball when they hit it. Just like basically every far thrower in disc golf reaches back, their, their head is never like this. They're, people that throw badly, their head is forward and they look like this. And I don't think anyone throws with their head backwards. So comment below if you throw with your head backwards, but I don't think that's something that people do. But basically it's the exact same thing, that same frame where our baseball players hitting the baseball is really that same frame where our disc golfers in their power pocket and everything's absolutely just boom, coiled up and ready to explode. There's so much carryover from the swing of the baseball bat to the backhand throw. The biggest difference is that the baseball comes towards us and we find that one frame to hit it. And with disc golf, our target's that way and we're kind of looking away from the target, but we're still hitting in that exact same frame. So that's kind of what made me start this thought process. And yeah, I thought it was something that is really helpful for me. I was really struggling with those Anheuser shots, but now that I'm putting my head and my eyes to dictate the angles of the shots, again, looking up where I want my disc on each and every shot on those Anheusers, keeping my head neutral for the flat shots, and then just like reaching back and putting my eyes where I want my disc to kind of come through on those hyzers. It's helping me be a lot more consistent. And I thought it was an interesting tip to help share with you guys today. Um, my backhand has come a long way. It was looking real bad about a month ago and it's really starting to come back and look a lot better now. Let me know if this helped you in the comment section down below. You guys are watching Iceberg TV and take care.